Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like Mr. Bruce Garrison over here from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, which I was just told was Elvis Presley's favorite hotel, uh, which is news to me. I was in a meeting room that was supposed to be Elvis's favorite hotel room to use. Really? So uh, I think it's a true story. Okay. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so this is Bruce Garrison, everybody. Bruce is the CEO of Bandwidth IG, or AKA Big. Bruce, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Dean. I appreciate it. Uh, look forward to this every year and um, excited to have a few minute discussion with you. So Me too. You. Me too. Um, so for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Big? Uh, Big is different um, than most of the fiber operators out here that you will uh, interact with. We build mission critical fiber infrastructure with extremely high density to data centers only. It's a data center to data center business, uh, and it's really the, the foundation and the highway of the uh, all of the great digital innovation that's going on in data centers. Um, those data centers are islands without what we do, and the fiber needed count to support AI, more cloud adoption, more AI innovation does not exist in the markets that we operate in at scale, and we're solving that problem uh and a few selected markets bruce i'm gonna go off script already because you're, you're already talking to me about things that are unique to conversations that i have had um at ptc so yep. far um i i gotta believe that there are advantage of advantages of being kind of this um niche focused fiber provider from data center to data center i gotta believe that it simplifies some things perhaps for you but ultimately it is serving a real critical function as we transition and it's going to be a long transition as we transition to some of these more higher density um uh, uh technologies ai including yeah. I, I, I agree and I, I had the uh, privilege of working at uh, a few of these larger telecom companies or some more regional multiple products that uh, built fiber in some of the metros, long haul. But it, they were more complex because of seven, ten different products. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously there's a sales organization that has to be an expert at talking about something. So therefore, yeah. the m more for them to learn um, and be experts on it. So, I, I joined Big two and a half, a little, little over two years ago, um, and the simplicity of the business model is such an accelerator to execution. If, to your point, we're going through systems architect work. TM, that, that's and, great. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's when you have one product, you do the same thing, uh, it's a rinse and repeat in markets. Even the systems architect software, you know, OSS, BSS updates uh, are just easier Speed of deployment, speed of deployment, yeah. the sales organization, transparency of information, uh, being able to know where your inventory, your fiber inventory is at, yeah. to the you know granular detail of per fiber strand. Um, it is just it again. The execution is easier because of the, the, the focus business model. No, that that all makes sense. Uh, <laughs> big expansion project going on right now. Tell us about that. That's right. We. The most recent one was, was is um, 200, 170 miles, probably a little bit undersold. It's getting closer to 200 additional miles okay. and the greater Atlanta area. And I say greater Atlanta because it's it's very, you know, it's 60, 70 kilometers outside of Atlanta. It's yeah. not, uh, not just in the downtown. And we had been in Atlanta for a, uh, since about 2019, right? You know, pre-COVID times mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. we had really um, started building and investing in the market. And Atlanta is going to be, I, I always said this, I think this is going to happen, but I'm 100% confident it will be the second Ashburn of the United States. And uh, there's so many great ingredients for us. So we, we will now, the expansion ads will reach close to 400 uh, total route miles. And I think we're maybe halfway done. Um, you will see it c continue for the next a uh, few years. Look, Bruce, you are segueing to the next question better than I ever could myself. Um, and that is, the, w what is driving that demand? I mean, it, to me, it feels like, well, Atlanta, that's probably already pretty dense. W why more? Right. A uh, few answers to, to part, as part <laughs> of that. 
power consumption of a GPU is 10 times more than the CPU. It's in ev everything that everyone's talking about here, about more demand for data centers and people building more boxes. Uh -huh. That's obviously happening across the United States. Atlanta has a lot of characteristics, or Georgia as a whole, has a lot of characteristics that help. Uh, there's Ashburn overflow. Not everyone can put their stuff and their, their servers in Ashburn. You have uh, the, the, a more progressive utility with uh, Georgia Power who has more investments happening in new additional transmission. You have available land. And you have also the, the ecosystem of that was created from Hartsville Jackson Airport, which, mm -hmm. which you had you have universities, you have resources, you have educated skill sets uh, in those new graduates coming out. So you just kind of have every little thing that lays together. Mm -hmm. uh, and fortunately for us, as this started to accelerate it, we made the decision to get into the market at a great time. And yeah, perfect it's, time. it's exciting and, and we, when people are building boxes, you can see them, you can talk about them, drive around yeah. what we do other than after construction, it's not tangible. It's it's underground. You yeah. don't see it. It doesn't get the same of uh, in depth understanding of that it is a problem and, and that infrastructure is not there yet. And so we're playing a role to solve that in Greater Atlanta and, and San Francisco Bay Area and uh, in Hillsborough, Oregon. And how about Chicago? That's where I'm from. Any no. plans for Chicago? But no. But we are going to get close to Chicago this year. Indianapolis. Nope, it is not. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have it. I'm just naming the markets that are close to my own we, we, we actually have a fourth market, uh, and I, it is. Are we allowed um, to talk about it? We are. Uh, if not, that's okay. We'll it's talk again. in the again. Midwest. Okay, cool, the Midwest. No, the, the, the next time, I, the next interview, well, I guarantee you there will be some discussions about it. But we are excited about a fourth market, and we do expect to add one or two more in the next two years. So fourth for now, and then more to come, and happy to talk about that fourth market. Amazing. See each other again. Let's do that. Let's do that. Bruce, thanks for being here. Thank you. Appreciate you bet. It. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.